Hello guys. So uh, in the previous section, we looked at the manual state transformation, um, which is where we are basically updating the state inside of the node and we are doing all of the calculations inside of that particular node. But there is slightly a different way to do it as well. So that is called the declarative annotated state transformation. It is not, it is not going to be as daunting as it sounds. So let's actually look at what it, what it is used for. Okay, so in the manual way, you know, we are just dealing with one node right here and let's say, you know, we are calculating the sum, right? So this is going to be the, uh, the, 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 the operation, right? But let's say there's like a four or five or a hundred different, you know, nodes that do the same, you know, summing operation. So you can see that this is going to get repeated a lot, right? So basically just to cut down on that, there is a slightly more, you know, better way of doing it. And that is through annotation. So I'll show you what that means. So I can just say annotated and right here we can actually, you know, provide land graph, basically tell it, give it some metadata and tell it how to update the state in the future. So I can say annotated. Okay. So the first, this thing is going to be the type. Okay. And then second, in the second uh, option, we can actually provide it how to update uh, the state in the future. So right now what we're doing is we're just summing it, right? So we are taking the previous value and then we're adding the, adding it with this new computed value, right? So all that we have to do is we can just say operator dot add. Okay. So we don't really have the operator. So I'm just going to say operator. So now that we've added it here, we can actually go ahead and remove this part. Okay. So essentially what we're saying is, uh, this, op this annotated, this thing is going to keep track of the previous value. And then anytime there is a new value that is going to be returned in the place of this property. Okay. So anytime that is being returned, add this to the existing value. And that is what this particular method means. Okay. Let's try to do the same thing for history as well. So we have the previous value right here. Um, we don't really want to, you know, keep on repeating for other nodes as well. So in that case, we can remove this and we can actually, you know, say annotated. Okay. So annotated. So again, this is still going to be a list, but uh, if there is, there is an existing list that is being maintained and if there is a new list that is being, you know, uh, added, how do we update it? We have to concatenate it now, right? We have to merge it. So we can just say operator dot concat. Okay. So you can see that it, uh, it provides a bunch of different methods. You can see that call, uh, we've got a lot of different methods. So in this case, I'm just going to use concat. All right. And that is it. So if I were to run this, you should be able to see the same exact thing, no different. So this would have slightly simplified your code a little bit, right? So you can see that, you know, this is a lot more clearer now. And then all the, you know, the actual, you know, intelligence as to how to update the state is maintained here. Okay. In this particular annotated and we're using the operator. So there might be some, uh, you know, uh, some operations that might not actually be available in the operator. In that case, you might have to do it manually right here. But yeah, this is always available for you to use. And the reason why I wanted to cover, cover all of these different uh, patterns is because, you know, we will be using some of this in the next section where we are going to be building our very own React agent that we saw in the start of the course and we are going to be building it using LAN graph. And that is going to give you a much more deeper insight as to how things work. And also that is going to give us a lot more flexibility. Okay. So using lang chains classes, we don't really have a lot of control, infinite loop problems, but if we have the control with us, if we build it using LAN graph, that is going to give us a lot of control and we eliminate some of the drawbacks of using the, uh, the lang chains default classes. So I'll see you in the next section.